Horses and drivers on the track for the third race condition pace. Number one is Bill Samusky's Lavros Lord N. He's driven by George Brennan. Number two is split into, all by Southern Hills Stable, Luke Willett. Number three, Tom Lales, Carl Hanover, Ron Pierce. Number four, the Peter Pan Stables, E. Pancipation, Cat Manzi. Number five, Once and Again, on by Kahn and Lefkowitz with Richie Silverman. Number six, Armbro Vaudeville, on by Hofler and Sons Lumber, Jim Morrill Jr. Number seven, Net Back, on release to the Cheyenne Gang with Dave Miller. And number eight, I've Been Thinking, on by Susan Cleaver, Jim Doherty is in the sulky. That's a look at the third race. And it's post time for today's third race, a field of condition pacers. They're lined up in behind the gate, moving closer to the start. And they're off. First away is Carl Hanover from the inside. Lavros Lord End chased out. Nobody really leaving hard. Split in two between that pair. And Armbro Vaudeville floats out of there. And it looks like he'll make the early lead. Catman is wrestling hard with a headstrong. He pants a patient who has his head cocked around to the left. Now he's against the pylons there in fifth. Once and again is two length six from him. Then it's net back gap slightly. I've been thinking the long shot trails the field. So Armbro Vaudeville had no trouble getting to the top. He hits the quarter in a moderate 28 and two. Lavros Lord End content to follow in second. Splits into drafting behind the top pair third. Headstrong Epancipation forced to pull to the outside. And he's coming first over now fourth. Carl Hanover fifth once and again is struggling, bearing out a bit, gapping cover for Silverman who's chasing him along on the outside. Netback is another three lengths behind, not responding to mild urging, and I've been thinking trails the field. Epancipation taking a big run at Armbro Vaudeville, but Armbro Vaudeville will park him out, and Epan has wrestled back. He'll drop back into the two hole there. The half was up in 56 and one. Once and again is racing in third. Carl Hanover up on the outside fourth. Lavros Lord End is dropping back. Split and two was kicked back behind him. He's now moving up fifth on the outside. From the back of the pack, as I've been thinking, who's sixth. The net back trails the field, and it's Armbro Vaudeville who's sprinted clear. He's four lengths in front as they hit three quarters, 124 and three. Epancipation, after a troubled trip there, is backing up. Up on the outside, Carl Hanover looking to come on. Also rallying up into it, split and two, who's now racing in second. Once again, is drifting out, and from the back of the pack, as I've been thinking, Armbro Vaudeville with a big lead split in two is trying to cut into that margin but it's still Armbro Vaudeville by three and a half as they come to the finish and it is Armbro Vaudeville holding on for the win split in two second and net back up for third 153 flat. Armbro Vaudeville he's a Jenna's Beach Boy four-year-old gelding out of the Sun Sam Mare Jolly Dame all by Hofler and Sons Lumber from Sunbury North Carolina Brett Pelling the trainer and Jim Morrill Jr. is in the sulky. Armbro Vaudeville scoring in 153 flat. Number six, Armbro Vaudeville was Ken Warkington's selection in this third race, the Bud Play of the Day. He pays 640, 420, 260. Second, number two, split into 760, five even. And third, number seven, net back, three dollars. Exact to six and two, 3480. The 627 try, 9920. 